Hey guys, Richard Oki here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can manually spy on affiliate marketing campaigns for free. Okay, so spying on affiliate marketing campaigns doesn't need to cost you a thing, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can do it for free like literally zero pounds before I get into the video I just want to let you know that if you are interested in taking things to the next level with your affiliate marketing business then make sure you check out the free training in the link in the description below all right now when it comes to spying on affiliate marketing campaigns, I know that there are several different tools available. And the way that I look at tools in this process is if you have a good budget, if you have experience, you know what you're looking for, um, and if you know how to use the tool, all right? So if you don't have the budget, if you don't know how to use one of these tools, and if you you know don't have experience in terms of what you want to actually look for, then paying for a track a, a spy tool is a complete waste of money. All right. So when I say it's a complete waste of money, I mean that as a new affiliate, somebody who's trying to make this you know make some good money, let's say in the next week or next couple of weeks, next month, where should you really prioritize your money? You should be putting money towards traffic and I'm always going to be an advocate for that um, you know that you know if you're a new affiliate just double down and buying more traffic that traffic is going to feed you data and that data will allow you to optimize your campaigns however if you you know if you have the budget for a spy tool you know you've taken one of our, our, our training you know videos or whatever it is that teaches you how to use a spy tool properly and you know what you're looking for then great go ahead and use a spy tool it will fast track the process however if you don't have the budget you're still early days you're not sure what to do be looking for um and you know you, you're not in a position where um you know you 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 understand how to actually use the, the spy tool uh, properly then don't use it all right follow this method it's very very simple and it will put you on the right track so as you can see i am on outbrain dot com's website right so this is outbrain if you don't know who, who outbrain are outbrain are um let me go to the main website actually outbrain are a native ad traffic network so you can buy native ad traffic on outbrain okay and if you don't know what native ad traffic is as i scroll down you can see this is like sponsored content and i'm going to show you some some actual websites that uh, uh, utilize Outbrain for their advertising um, so they can get ad revenue. And I'll show you how you can manually spy on these campaigns, okay? So this is something that's like, just a li literally one of the biggest traffic exchanges when it comes to buying native ads. Um, and yeah, you can see Washington Post, promoted stories. So anything promoted stories, promoted content, sponsored content, then that's going to be native ads and it's going to be people are buying traffic from traffic uh, exchanges and traffic networks such as Outbrain, all right? But we're not going to spend too much time on Outbrain's website, but I just wanted to show you like these are some of the um, the the brands that work with Outbrain. So you, your, your affiliate campaigns, if you use Outbrain, your ads will be placed on sites like this. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to be on CNN, but it could be... You know, your ad could literally feature on, on one of these sites. Hence why, you know, for certain uh, products and promotions, there are stricter regulations in terms of what you can and can't do. Because if your ad is on CNN and it's not compliant, then, you know, Outbrain will get in a lot of trouble by CNN because, you know, it then associates CNN to that content. Outbrain for advertisers. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this manual, manual spying process. All right. And I pulled up CNN earlier. So let's see if that loads up. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so CNN, the reason I pulled this site up is because I know they work with Outbrain and this site receives a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna open up my, um, my one of my extensions, similar web. Let's see if we can see how much traffic CNN actually gets every month yeah so when I said a lot of traffic I wasn't joking you see CNN gets 680 million visits um, well in January they got 680 million visits 
on average they're doing around let's say around maybe 600 maybe five maybe around five eighty eighty million million visits a month which isn't bad <laughs> if your site was doing like 580 million visits then um you know you, you wouldn't be in a bad position would you but yeah so this is a very high traffic you know news uh, website everyone knows who cnn is no matter where you are in the world you know cnn and if you obviously buy traffic from from uh, outbrain then potentially your ads could be on cnn too so what i'm looking for is sponsored content i want to show you the manual spying process all right so i'm looking for sponsored content um you know promoted content anything that is of that nature that isn't that looks native to the content but actually isn't native all right and this is why it's called native ads because native ads they they pretty much look like they're part of the site so for the average person who doesn't know about affiliate marketing they may be strolling on um cnn they may see your ad at some point and they may maybe like all right you know what uh, this is interesting let me click on it so here we are here we are so these are potentially some affiliate marketing campaigns all right so i'm seeing this one uk seniors are snapping up this life insurance benefit um another one the first inexpensive smartwatch has arrived so that's like an e-com type product worried about your ticker take the drink compare quiz all right cool we're just going to go on this senior one for now so this is like a life insurance offer and i'm going to refresh this page just in case when I refresh, it displays different results. Like hopefully that's, that's the aim. So I've got the site pulled up and I can see, you know, this is a standard advertorial um, and it links to an offer. So this could be a direct um, advertiser uh, doing their own internal media buying or it could be an affiliate um, working for a you know promoting an affiliate offer in the life insurance market um, But yeah, the main thing here is that obviously you're not necessarily going to be guaranteed to find Clipbank products using this method um, Because you know, it's going to take you a long time to find that the main benefit of manual spying is that it gives you an idea of what people are doing in certain markets and it gives you an idea because I can easily just swipe this landing page, right? I could, you know, download something like uh, Site Sucker. It's another good tip, guys. If you don't know how to swipe landers, well, I'm teaching you right now. So if you have a, a, a Mac computer like I do, you have you use Site Sucker. And I believe there's another one for Windows. It's definitely much easier on Windows to, to, to swipe uh, landers, uh, but you can do the research. But so if you're using a Mac, Site Sucker is the one for you. But anyway, so I could just swipe that lander and I could just adapt this slightly for any niche that I'm working on inside of um, Clipbank, right? So I open up Clipbank right here. I could, you know, look at all the different products in health and if there's any relevant niches where I potentially could utilize an advertorial, I could just use this same advertorial flow, update the copy, and you know this will be me me done. All right, so I think I've clicked through um, on the advertorial accident. But anyway, so this is just a good example. So if I go back to CNN, um, let's see if any new offers populated. So naked wines. These aren't really like CPA offers, I wouldn't say. Um, but yeah, the main thing with manually spying is that obviously the more sites you go into, the more different types of content you're going to find. On a site like CNN, you're not really going to find anything too, I would say, hardcore. Just because of the the brand, like CS, CNN, they have to protect their reputation. Um, so they, you know, the, the offers that are going to be there are very, very, very clean. Uh, I'm not saying that you're going to be running any dirty black hat offers, uh, but... CNN, there's not much flexibility that you're going to find in there. But let me go on to msn.com. So this is another site that utilizes Outbrain. Oh, wow. This is definitely old. Some old picture of me. Um, that tells you how old, uh, how long it's been since I used anything related to MSN or Hotmail. Uh, but it's kind of strange that I'm still logged in. Like It's probably been like 10 years or something like that. Anyway. So we can see some products over here. So we see this device. I've actually seen this quite a lot. So this is like an e-com product. And I think this is doing really well. Um, but again, we can click on this 
And I know that Clickbank has quite a few offers that are like product based as well. Um, but we could click on this, we can look at the landing page and then we can replicate a similar type of lander. Um, you know, and this is mainly for when you're starting from scratch, right? If you don't know, if you don't have any materials to use and you're just trying to go raw in on the hustle, this is what you should be doing, okay? There's no excuse whatsoever for you to not get started with affiliate marketing because this is completely free, right? To get to find all these landers that I'm finding right now hasn't cost me a thing, okay? So I could go into ClipBank and I could find, you know, any e-com type products and I can try and replicate that for a, you know, a landing page that looks like this. And that's the, that's the thing that, you know, a super affiliate would do. Like you find, you know, landing pages that look good and you change it completely. Like in the sense that I would just change the images, but the structure will remain the same because I know that the structure probably works because maybe this, this person who runs this site is driving a lot of traffic. Let's see if we can see any traffic. Can't see any traffic for this site, but typically, you know, a lot of the, the, the ads that you're gonna find through this method are generating high amounts of traffic. All right, so these are quite a few ads. So again, another thing that's like life insurance or something, funeral plans, another big, big um, market for lead gen. But yeah, the main thing with this, like you can just find um, relatable offers. So this one, uh, Southwark, Although I'm not in Southwark right now, but anyway, I guess that didn't work properly. How much do solar panels actually cost, right? So let's have a look at this. So even that ad, I can just swipe that ad and I can use that ad for like a, um, a solar campaign that I'm running. So if I go into um, ClipBank, if I go to green products, I believe there's, if I go to, Let's just click green products. I'm not sure which one is solar. There is a lot of solar offers here. So if I go right from the top, so easy power plan, power efficiency guide, this solar energy one, so it's $70, $46 per conversion. So yes, yeah, so it's a lot of opportunity obviously for solar. And I found this, this, well not this one, but I found this one, which is a lander where this person has an advertorial promoting, you know, solar usage. If I click one of these, let's see what happens. Let's see. So I clicked on the link on the landing page. And now you can see how I can literally view the whole funnel that this person may have. So what is this? So this may be a direct media buyer potentially. Um, like I'm not gonna complete the, all the, you know, this, this survey thing. I'm not gonna complete that. But um, this could be a direct media buyer. It could be somebody who just generates leads and then sells those leads on directly to um, clients that they have. So if that is somebody that's, if this, if this person is doing that, then most high this person has good experience, they have good business relationships, therefore this person isn't a newbie. So if you're utilizing a lander like this and you're generating traffic for solar, then this potentially could do well for you as well, all right? So you could just swipe this lander, uh, update it a little bit to, uh, to uh, sync better with one of the offers you're looking to run, and then quite simply, you can start you know, running this flow. It's that, it's that simple. And you know, it took me two seconds to find an offer like that. But what you typically would wanna do, and again, because you're going down a cheap method, this can take a bit of a while, but you wanna just keep refreshing on sites like MSN, sites like CNN, uh, sites like Eatery, and all these different uh, um, sites that have sponsored content. I think Buzzfeed as well is another big one that you could go on to. And each site tends to have different types of ads as well. So um, CNN was strictly like, you know, insurance type ads. I've seen, you know, a few of these uh, solar ads on this site. Um, and this person must be making money on MSN because I think this is the same advertiser. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. So the same advertisers buying multiple placements um, and just maximizing their spend on this, on the MSN. So it's obviously making them good money. Um, but yeah, this is another one. This is a different advertiser. So I can tell they're different by the name here. So the, the brand names. 
So again, this is a different advertiser. Solar quote today, click here to get started. So they have like advertorials and these advertorials then link to um, like a quiz, right? So right now, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna put a real postcode right now, I'm just think. see. Alright, so they're collecting leads directly. By submitting your details, you'll be contacted by telephone by one of the following partners, blah, blah, blah. So they're selling leads on to these companies. Um, so this is big business and they're going to be getting paid quite a lot of money for selling these leads on. And obviously, the people they sell the leads onto will try and close the, the leads for very high ticket, all right? Because if you're going to be interested in solar, most likely you may get your whole roof uh, done with the solar. And that stuff costs a lot of money. So the leads sold in that market is, you know, you, you make a lot of money with that. However, inside of ClipBank, there are offers in, the, there's a lot of offers that are in solar, solar niche, right? And, you know, it's you just can have the similar flow, but rather than collecting their data, you can just send them to a VSL, right? And then they get further sold by the VSL content and then they should convert on the offer, all right? So this is a very, very simple method, like very simple method as you can see. And you, know, you can find so many different, um, you know, different flows that you can swipe and get so much ideas. And the main thing is that you're getting good ideas. I'm not saying that you need to just download everything and just swipe everything. The main thing is that now I know in solar, here are some trends, right? And that's the main thing. Like you get to, you get a good understanding of some, some trends for different um, niches that you're potentially looking to, to run campaigns in. So does this have any ads, this site? I'm not sure. But anyway, you should get the picture by now. You should know exactly what the process looks like. Just, it's very simple. Find sites that um, have sponsored content go through the sponsored content refresh the page a couple times get a good idea of like you know the the ads you can swipe the ads directly and then have a look at the landing pages have a look at the full flow when they go on, when there's an advertorial is there like a quiz next uh, after as a next step now, what's a typical flow for the niche that you're researching then go into clipbank and look at the um, offers inside of clipbank and then you can make direct comparisons as well very very simple all right so if you are interested in affiliate marketing, I just want to let you know that we do have a free training. You can check that out in the link in the description below. All right, so make sure you check that out. This is for serious affiliate marketers. You know, you've looked at this video like this and you know, you want to take the next thing to the next level. Maybe you want to travel, maybe you want to spend more time with your family, whatever that might be. So just check the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and I will see you in the next one.